Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a blank line journal cover. So this is the picture of what we're going to design. And for this demonstration, we're going to actually have to go to tangenttemplates.com. And um, this is a, a website where you can find uh, interiors and covers. And this is great. I mainly use this to get actual uh, cover templates. So for this demonstration, I already have the cover right here. But to show you, I'm going to go to KDP Helper. Once I'm here, I'm going to act, I'm going to fill out the trim size. That's going to be 6 by 9. I'm going to make it 100 pages. I'm going to do, make it white and then do no bleed. And then I'm going to press continue. Once I'm here, I'm going to find out uh, what the actual uh, inches are. So I'm going to press download. And you want to remember this. It's 12.48, 9.25. So I'm back at the main dashboard for Canva. So I'm gonna go to custom dimensions and I'm gonna type in the actual dimensions for the cover. So I believe it's 12.48 and it's gonna be 9.25. I'm gonna press great design. So it looks like it has the correct dimensions cause it has the back and the spine and the front. And so I'm gonna upload that template that I just had. And this is the template that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna adjust this. And I'm gonna use elements to make it black. So I'm gonna get a square. And you can get, you can use whatever color you want. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna use a, a black cover. So I'm gonna adjust accordingly and then make it black. The trick that I like to do is actually make the transparency around 70% so I can just see where the actual uh, back cover is and the spine in the front. Um, when you design, you wanna actually look at these as three different areas. So the front, the spine, and the back. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna use the front for today. So. I'm gonna to go to text and I'm gonna click on heading. And I'm just gonna write in blank line journal. I wanna make this white so I can see it because it's a black cover. And if I wanna change the font, I'm gonna look through the font section and try a font that I wanna use. I think this font's okay, so I'm just gonna move it up to where I wanna position it. And I'm gonna just try to do my best to position it in the middle. So let me move it a tad bit. And then I'm gonna make the transparency 100% again. And this is what it's gonna look like. And this is how you make a blank line journal cover.